What's up, everyone? Um, shucks. Okay. <laughs> I haven't been here in a while. So, haven't done the streaming thing in a while. So, let's hope I'm not a stranger to everyone. <laughs> if uh, this video is new or you haven't been to my channel before, I am the South African ostrich. Here's my username, stuff like this. And I do play some chess and speak about stuff sometimes. And this is my YouTube channel. I don't live stream events as I'm a South African. Generally, my internet is bad. Um, someone's not uh, able to enter the team. And I'm playing against one of my teammates at the moment, uh, Kwahi. So I think... I think this could actually be my routine to play one or two warm up games um, against members of my team. Or if you're watching my channel and you want to play a warm up game against me, or on a Sunday night uh, between 5 and. What time does the tournament start? 6. No, maybe let's make it half past 5. I could probably fit in a warm up game. Okay. So do challenge me. Uh, Quahi's playing well so far. Uh, fighting for the center, active knight, looking for an outpost. Cannot uh, access it just yet. I like this square for myself though, but I haven't uh, gotten to castling yet. So someone's just messaging me. It says that the tournament links uh, doesn't work. Um, so I'm just forwarding him the link. To the tournament tonight and i'll also just if you guys want to skip to the tournament i'll put a link to the actual tournament if these warm-up games aren't your cup of tea and you just want to see the ostrich muck about in the actual tournament then you can just skip past all of that that's the nice thing no one <laughs> is forcing you to be on youtube but if you have some more time then obviously I think, ooh, this is interesting. So if I capture, I am losing a pawn. Do have a bishop f5. And the queen can be slightly awkward. Uh, I'm just trying to weigh up what would be the use of capturing the knight first. But I think the correct route is to lose a pawn for now. Wow, well, actually I haven't played chess in a while. Let's also make sure that I'm not being a noob and my face isn't over. <laughs> my clock there we go there we go how should i could actually move the board up a bit to the left there we go want the tournament clock to be in as well okay so that's an interesting move but i think it loses on the spot to this tactic removing the defender so quahi okay but it's going to be a bit of a time scramble is there anything funny takes takes i don't see anything too funny bishop check uh, okay, I did consider it. He's got queen takes, but bishop... I can even play queen to e5. So let's start off with the check I wanted to give a bit earlier on. And then after king moves... I guess he needs to play king moves. I'll just play uh, bishop a3. If he allows my queen to enter, I'll do so. But my plan is just to castle queen side for now. Um, still a quarter of an hour before the event starts. Uh, I might play another game against Quahi. Actually, I should just make Quahi's games a video on their own. And let's give it a check. He's going to try for a flag, so let's not get flagged. It's a relatively easy situation. Uh, got bishop takes. And king side is safe as hell. Oh, I mean my new king side. <laughs> the place where my king is at currently. This check, maybe queen coming in, maybe a bishop sack. Need to be careful about the bishop sack though. The bishop's also defending mate. So if he plays rook takes, I've got one tempo to mess with, but then my queen really needs to slide over and defend. Um, how am I getting more pieces to the attack? Is he planning rook to c6? No, okay. Let's take here and... Play bishop here. That seems very interesting. Attacking uh, the p5 
piece that's helping this uh, mate threat and simultaneously attacking here and I can do all of that because of the pin uh, on this G pawn. Okay, so this game I should be winning. Queen here, just bishop takes. I don't know if there's a, a good way to just stop all of this, but yeah, you're getting mated. Quite sure of it. Let's throw in another check for for safety, and then that's mate. Okay, I'll play one more rematch against him. Let me just open up the tournament in a new browser. See that I don't miss it by accident. Oh, uh, it's still 12 minutes to go. Okay, so UJ have uh, been winning this tournament apparently the last few times. Sorry, someone on my team. Okay. Any case, okay, so we, we're getting a, a, a French Sicilian by Quachi. And it seems like he's been prepping some lines. Ah, okay. So that clears that square for the queen. So uh, what I find interesting about this variation where, okay, if I'm losing a pawn, it's fine. I think he, he might be too desperate. Oh, that might be a bit uh, of a desperate attempt. Let's just see where this goes. Queen takes, pawn takes. <laughs> I'll gambit to something just to see if I can keep this king stalled in the center of the board. It's uh, going to be a while to castle either way. I don't think that's where you want to castle towards. I'm sure this should work somehow. I've got one more tempo moving my queen to g4, which also defends the knight and also opens up the eyes of this bishop. And this is probably a bit dubious. Um... But in Blitz, uh, it's good to sacrifice a bit. Okay, so interesting options here. I don't believe in trading, obviously, because uh, I'm down some material. So I need to keep the attack going. So obviously I'm considering Queen to G4, which just defends and keeps the King in the center. It's going to be take a while for that King to develop. And if knight c6, I can play bishop to e3, just attacking the queen. It's a bit redundant, because the queen can escape easily. And if I don't play bishop to e3, then he's moving his queen out of his own accord. Okay, now I can play queen here. What's he threatening? Nothing. Okay, so queen takes, queen takes check. And I'll be down, no. Well, then I'll pick up the bishop as well. Okay, interesting game. Let's see if it proves the point that your king needs to get castled. I've had the time to fianchetto and actually castle so far. Um, the queen here is doing a nice job. There might have been a line where I could have considered playing knight to knight to f5. With what intentions, I don't really know. But... Uh, because of uh, pawn takes, then I would have had rook check kicking the king away from the, the, the defense of the rook. I can simply capture the pawn, right? That's uh, a legal move. Should probably defend my knight. I do have bishop to a6, which was my original idea. Let's go for it. I'd rather bring another piece, threaten mate. Now the queen is actually tied down to defense of. Um, the rook, if the queen moves away, then that's mate. Okay. Let's see now. I haven't really achieved anything in these last couple of moves. Hoping for some kind of sack that works. Ah. I'm playing horribly. Well, I can just take a pawn. Quickly just uh, breathe for a moment. The rook's trapped. I can win back some material. Claim that my pawn structure is slightly better. Pieces are more active. If that is what I want, if I do want material, that is. Um, let's do this. <laughs> Use this long diagonal. If he gives back the exchange, he, he'll be giving the exchange back twice. And then I'll be up the exchange. It's a weird calculation. <laughs> and that can't be good, right? That just can't be good. This can't be good at all. 
Okay, I'm just going to go rook takes. Don't need to overthink this. I'll be winning. Oh, he, he still wants to go for a flag type. He wants to go for flag district. So let's uh, simplify. Rook takes. Do I have a clever fork? Well, King Conquer here, right? Because of this. Oopsie. There we go. And that's all she wrote. Uh, six minutes to go. Okay, let's play one more last rematch. Okay. Uh, let's make sure that... Let's pre-move e5 to keep the game interesting. Okay. Uh, make sure my face is not in the way. And the stream is running smoothly. Throw in that check. He didn't go for the extra pawn, as a lot of people tend to do in... Well, it's actually the correct line if you go for the extra pawn. In the England. Uh, England spelled with a, a U, not England. I think it's just because it's... <laughs> I wonder what, what the origin... The origin... The origin... The orange gin. The origin is of the England gambit. So... I wonder if it's legal to actually Google the gambit while you're playing. Okay, Black's idea. The England gambit is a rarely played chess opening. It starts with e4, e5. Black's idea is to avoid the traditional closed queen's pawn game. Okay, you guys, okay. Uh, gambit is considered weak, obviously. <laughs> uh, to avoid a closed queen's pawn game and create an open game with tactical chances, but at the cost of a pawn. Um... Boris, wait, this guy, I want to see who played it the first time. History. It was also known as the Charlie Gambit. By Carlos Bettins, Latvian Gambit. I don't know where the name, the name comes from. Anyways, uh, let's just see, I need to come up with something. And... Okay, so let's come up with a move quickly. Okay, just c3. Queen here. He's been trying to flag me, so he might be happy with the outcome here. I wonder what, what uh, use I might have for this uh, e3 square at the moment. If I get a rook to d8. Okay, so nothing, nothing yet. I need to move my knight. If he attacks my knight again, he'll be opening up a square. funny I don't know knight here is actually a solid move so I think I'm gonna quickly go back for this although he can actually capture three minor pieces if he wants to shucks I blundered I think I prefer the three minor pieces to the queen he didn't I don't know if he saw it uh, he didn't go for it That's a nice square. Okay, so let's see if I can wear myself into. That's a pawn there. He's getting a pawn, but I've got some activity. Uh, this nice uh, d5 post for my knight. And it's weird, but uh, <laughs> these three pieces are kind of in the center. It feels like something might just happen. There might be a possibility for something just now. Let's bring one more piece to the attack. If queen takes, rook takes. There's no funny pin at the moment. For, luckily. How to set up my attack further? I don't know. Maybe uh, my rook doesn't have too many options. I should probably just play this. Do not lose a piece because of the pin. So. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Getting my pawn back. do have queen to d e2 he needs to worry about that also allowing this knight to enter the position 
Oh, actually, a big threat at the moment is knight to f4. Check. How would I miss that? Just discovering the queen. He sees it. But queen... Oh, okay. <laughs> I missed the queen was actually... Uh, it might just be a knight, king. Okay. Keep this knight away for now. Because then I'm getting this fork. Although he might be fine. Wait, after the check... So I'm giving this check, but then he's got king here. Then I've got takes. I'm just picking up a pawn. It's not uh, that great. So I'll just pre-move all of this. Because I need to get my speed up. I think the shortcut for knight is A and king is shift. So I'll be using keyboard to give you guys t a taste of the keyboard. I haven't really played around. With oh, shucks. Okay. So I'm screwing this one up. Dramatically. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll have three pawns. What's the pawn shortcut against the queen? This is just terrible. Okay, okay, I'm going down, definitely. Unless I could maybe get... What's king is shift? Okay, let's see. He can't give up a queen just yet. What is happening here? What is happening? King is shift. I need to remember that. Okay, I'm losing a pawn. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see if I can at least get a draw. I've never lost against uh, Kwaki before. Oh, no. He, here comes the king-queen combo. Let's uh, see how well the keyboard treats me. Oh, I'm definitely getting mated. Oh! Okay. Well done, Kwaki. Right before the start of the tournament. And Stjernkamp uh, coming into the tournament is the number one seed. 22-11. He hasn't pissed away his rating yet. <laughs> hasn't played enough of these uh, South African tournaments. The last while. Okay, I'm looking forward to tonight. Let's see if the tournament clock shows up. By the way, a bit uh, dramatic description here by... Um, UJ <laughs> flaunting their own their own horns, saying they are the only team to win three consecutive trophies. And I think some of them are asking, is there even a point for us to be playing at all? So kind of distasteful. Come on, <laughs> if they were really the best, they they would have just uh, kept quiet about it. And other people would have been saying that about them, not them saying that about themselves. Okay, but I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a fun night. And we should be going. Okay, I'm in a game against Poncho Mo. Let's, uh, I'm not going to even bring up the B word. Because uh, it's always too tempting to, to use the B word. And ends up costing you your career. Okay, so quick start. What what am I aiming for? F four so far. And one day maybe this bishop can be active. So the pawn takes. I'm gonna try and play something like d five. Oh. Okay, I can't play it immediately. I don't know if the knight is worth more on the square than the bishop. Let's keep the knight there. Feels like the bishop could help e5 from happening. And he sees all of that coming. He doesn't like it. Wow. Just starts running away. Okay, let's open the eyes of this bishop. Wow, okay, n bishop g5. Okay, am I supposed to maybe just back off this bishop and try for a quick mate? He can double sack his, his knight, though. And g6 is a possibility. Is there... Okay, there's a, there's a nicer continuation that I can develop with tempo now. Even got rook to 
f5. Oh, well, would that be a blunder because of queen to e5? Ah, e3. I'm moving too quickly. Missed queen e3. Okay, so queen e3 check. King here. Queen takes. No, no, that, that, would, that would just be crushing. Okay, so what else can I possibly try? This queen is actually quite good because of this e3 square. Ah, uh, let's just try rook to f3. Boring, simple. Centralize my knight. Oh, this pawn was, was quite nice. Now I don't have it anymore. Hmm. For now, I don't want this knight moving. I might have access to f5. So if he goes pawn hunting, I might get f5. And moving one of the knights to f6 just seems to give back uh, the pawn he's won. So, where's your queen going to? That's interesting. Okay. You're allowed to do that. Um, I'm completely sure what I want to do. Don't want that knight moving, but it's going to move now. Let's just keep pieces on the board. And the position's sharp as hell. This feels good. Dropping the b2 pawn, probably. I do have rook here. I'll allow this check, king h1, and ask him what he, okay, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> I'm struggling to be creative over here. Um, lost two pawns for an attack that's fizzling, especially because that knight was so good and now the, the normal pieces actually partaking in my attack anymore. And so far my keyboard skills don't seem to be too good. Okay. Both knight checks aren't doing anything, right? So I could just attack that knight. Down on the clock. Queen takes, I've got rook takes. Shucks, okay, he's going for this exchange difficulty. Okay. That might be exactly what he needs to do. It's going to be tricky. If I get mated, I won't be surprised. I've got my bishop uh, hovering over f1. Don't see any checks just yet for him. Maybe I should sh set up a mate quickly. Not sure how I'm doing this. Not sure at all. Glad to be alive though. So glad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I have been that, that was that was crushing. Sure. Okay. Missed that mate. Well, 
Well done, Poncho Ma. Clearly, I'm not, I'm not uh, chess ready just yet. Okay, let's go for this little sack line where you sack uh, your e5 pawn for a lot of play. Mm, yeah, bishop d6, a few options. The nice thing is uh, you can castle queen side pretty easily. Now I'm going to move my queen with tempo. Maybe h3 wasn't the correct choice. Ooh, also might have options for playing knight to see if I can manage this. I might uh, be too arrogant now. Might be considering d4 because there's not really much of an attack off the knight check. I could castle. Queen takes. He might think he's got the knight after all of that, but then I've got his bishop. And even after pawn takes, that'll be quite a lot. Okay, so he doesn't go for it. Now the queen is protected. If I give this check, I don't think he'll be taking the pawn. Ah, the, the knight. If I go bishop takes. Bishop takes. Knight check. Gosh. I'm fearing, I'm fearing this uh, d5 move. Because now the knight defends the queen. So bishop takes isn't an option. So I've quickly played something that doesn't make too much sense only maybe because I've got this check and this bishop can move now who knows very aggressive gosh what am I doing It's like I'm playing way too aggressively. Okay, so I, I'm possibly just losing the knight on g4. But for a really good play, I must say this rook is close to contributing to the game. This is a stunning rook. Bishops are doing well. Queen is... Queen is uh, far away from that square. I can maybe play bishop h3. Slide the queen a bit closer. He won't be taking that bishop. He's a really good defender. I think this is um, UCT player, right? Yeah. That came third overall at uh, USAS. Oh, I found a queen trade. So this should be crushing for him. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's keep my rooks active. He needs to move the bishop. The queen trade was fundamental um, for saving the game, I'd say. Or playing for the win. Otherwise, I would have actually had a nice position. Do I have bishop takes? It's an intermezzo. The rook doesn't have too many great options. Let's just keep it over here and attack. Oh my god, I, I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so the first 10 minutes was a big mess mess about was this wasn't good not good at all how's my team looking who's participating we've got stian come tonight oh he's got three points who else do we have oh donors we've got odonis Irion, i think who else is representing well, i'm not representing just yet uh, to go for the to go for the berserk or not? Just now I said I'm not going to use the B word. Uh, Fifteen hundred is slightly low, unless it's uh, meant to be. Wow. Okay. 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 Glad I berserked this one, but not necessarily winning this one. <laughs> okay. He's keeping the moves uh, running. Which is a good 
cho choice by him, but he's not getting cast with King's Knight, so that's why he's doing this. He wants to move his queen and all of that stuff. But uh, now I can open the center up and maybe try and stop him from castling uh, queen side as well. So let's do that. Oh my gosh, am I blundering this rook maybe? Maybe, maybe I am. I really do hate myself. I think the queen's trapped though. You can't really do that. You can get two minus for the queen. Before I capture a Vera, I'm just going to play bishop here. Must be careful of uh, bishop h3 nonsense. At least for now my queen is covering the third rank. Okay. The square's covered, I could maybe try putting my rook on b1 now. Okay, he wants to give up the exchange to make room for that king to run. That is mate he's threatening, by the way, so let's play. It's, is he going to mate me <laughs> if I allow all of this? I don't think so, I've got, got a spare tempo. I'm the first one to threaten mate. Might be more tricky for him to get out of it. There we go. I'm threatening mate in one. He's threatening mate in one. But it's uh, my move first. So. Okay. First win of the tournament. Caught up with Stiankamp. He's also not having a great time. Oh, tricky opponents taking him down. Okay. But if we get on a roll, I think the, between the two of us, we could make quite a lot of points. And, uh, the big challenge, actually, I think, is UCT versus UJ today. They're going to be... We haven't seen Tux in a while. Okay. No berserking for you. I need to get on a streak. Are we going for some two knights? No, no two knights. Defending the pawn with the queen. Okay, I can do it. It's uh, giving away a pawn. But I, I've liked my chances so far, even though I'm, I'm not in my rhythm and groove just yet. Uh, the temporary pawn sacks will eventually lead to something more. What's the deal with pawn takes, rook takes? Let's just play with as, uh, oh, interesting, interesting choice. So we do have bishop takes, and then I also had knight, did I have knight takes? I'm not sure. Rook is defended, one a pawn. One piece still to develop, and it might develop with tempo. And then queen e8 and stuff. Actually, queen e8 can, I can play with tempo as well. As it's just simply threatening mate. Oh, is it threatening mate? Well, the bishop moves. Fundamentally, it's uh, threatening mate. Sharks. Sharks, I missed. I, uh, oh my gosh. So I don't think this is the end of the world. Just said I need to figure this one out. 
Rook takes, bishop can't take, right? So that would be mate. But queen can take. And then maybe bishop e6, okay. I'm not convinced. I might just be winning a pawn. That's it. There was no mate. Uh, the bishop just falls back. That was kind of my opponent's point. Now I might be making the point, though, that... I'm looking forward to playing down a piece. Uh, gosh. Bishop takes, queen takes, and that check still is just blocked by the queen. So I've got queen here. Bishop takes. Then I've got queen mating, so let's try that. I was looking at queen here, but something like b3 stops a lot of ideas, and it still does. b3, maybe I should just try bishop uh, f5, try get the rook in. Play down a piece then. Gosh, okay. Oh my word, I really need to sharpen up a bit. This game is going to be an issue. can fall back. Use all the tricks up my sleeve now. Here we go, maybe this trick worked. Setting up a... oh, no. <laughs> this is a sad trick, doesn't really do anything. I have a knight here. Gosh, man, this guy's gonna, this guy's gonna obliterate me. Surely this is gonna be the end of my night right here, this game. What do I need to do though? Just need to keep the clock ticking and not uh, completely forfeit this game just yet. This knight's gonna move. Okay, so it's gonna be just down a piece. And at least I've got a single pawn for the piece. <laughs> mm. Yeah, losing another pawn, so down on the clock. So the keyboard is nice in the sense that uh, you just hover your mouse above where you want your um, piece to go and you press the shortcut for the piece selection. So it's a relatively fast, but it's not going to be fast enough to save this game. Ah! <laughs> Let's see how quickly maybe this king can pull off a miracle. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that was a bit nasty. At least it wasn't a loss, so it's like one point. Maybe the keyboard did that, maybe not. A bit nasty, he did deserve that. Got outplayed over there. That back rank idea and uh, just the blunted, blunted piece uh, was just really bad. Okay, so an hour to go. Hour to go. Okay. Still a lot of uh, redemption and redeeming to be done. Mm. 
Got me some Sveshnikov knights. That's a weak pawn. Always make a note to yourself that it's backward and not defended by another pawn. Okay, so is it time to say goodbye to this bishop? And Oh, okay, the bishop can still move there. That's just such a nice square for my own... Mm, let's play queen here. I can always recapture with my queen. I want to keep the file open on this pawn. Now oh, I'm just messing about a bit. Mm -mm. What am I up to? I want my knights around. I've got a feeling the square will be occupied by one of my knights. And let's give him a bishop that's restricted by his pawns. Okay. Might be strange, but the only square available for this knight is that bad square over there. So let's uh, wait. Oh, I just did that. <laughs> Messed up my own pawn structure without uh, too much hesitation. All because of that d6 pawn. I'm really coming for that pawn. I'm going to win that pawn. That's uh, <laughs> it's my life's goal. No, oh, he's got this tactic now. Shucks. He can pick up he can pick up a pawn. Oh no. Wait, okay. It might be Don't really like my king here. There's always some potential for back ranks, especially because this B file is now open. Is he blundering upon? Uh, that's not the pawn I wanted to win. But it's an extra. Okay, what next? This knight is being attacked. Oh, that was that was his plan. It was darn clever to fork my knight and the spawn. Because the knight can no longer go back. I wish I'd foreseen that. Okay. So I might not be winning this pawn today. <laughs> Nine takes or something. I need to move my rook. There are not too many good squares for my rook. Let's be creative. I'm going to go for an exchange sack. Pawn takes, queen takes with a tempo against that bishop. And that's all I'm hoping for. It's just a single tempo at the moment and some regrouping uh, to make it feel like I'm in control of the game because uh, that's not been the case so far. My opponent's been doing a really good job. So I've made a concession. Oh, wow. This guy's good. It's definitely not a 1700. Not by a long shot. takes might be blundering the game it's complicated that was as far as I foresaw shucks okay he's taking over the game again and actually I think rook here is game over for me Okay, let's go for a swindle. 
He's just going to take my... Okay, there. This is kind of what I was hoping for from the swindle. But it's it's not it's not the best of swindles. <laughs> if he takes my queen now, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gosh, I'm getting murdered. Just getting murdered over here. Oh, and that bishop's just gonna slice through. Oh my gosh, bishop. There's not much to do here. Come on, knight, do something interesting. Okay, is he f not finding the mate or what's happening? He does, he has to find that mate. Bishop takes, okay. Either way. I'm getting my ass handed to me tonight. Nothing good so far. Not one good game. Whew. I can't stand. I can't stand for this. <laughs> it's happening to my integrity. I didn't berserk a 1700 and he still ended up chopping me. I'm doing things that I wouldn't usually do. I think usually my impulse would have been to play um, bishop a3. I don't get why I'm doing... Working against my impulse at the moment. That's frustrating. Let's just play it now. One move too late. Because I guess the queen is good on e1. King is slightly... On average, slightly bad. Unless he's just planning to play with the g-file himself, then that would be murder. I don't want to close the g-file for him. Uh, sorry, he, he'll, he'll have a closed g-file if I allow, allow some of that. Regrouping my pieces. Knight g5, knight e5 might be possible. Let's start with knight e5. If he squares, uh, his queen is heading towards. Okay, he's definitely got a good grasp of what my ideas are. I'm not thinking creatively enough. Hmm. No, no, he's definitely, I'm, I'm not thinking out of the box here. He can foresee most of my ideas. I mean, now it's obvious I want to play b5. Am I really going to call the bluff on the king's side and say that after... Getting rid of that knight. That's a big square. Bishop can finally move here. Okay. Not too bad. Things might just go my way. Wonder if I should take with the H or the F pawn. <laughs> this guy's sneaky. Keep the bishop on H8. The pawn moving up might be devastating though. Always got that square. Always got that one square keeping me quite happy. And weirdly enough, I think he's just... Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, he just blundered the game there. Oh my gosh, okay. He got such a nice position. I don't know. I was distracting him on this side of the board. Suddenly, I think this should be it. But... uh. <laughs> Playing a queen up has gone horribly wrong for countless players. For instance, playing uh, this little check, taking that piece will walk into that check, and rook takes. He might be winning after king h8, but I'm not going to 
I'm not going to uh, test the theory. This seems to be a bit better. Let me check. There's no attack anymore. Ever since f6 happened, I think I might have been able to uh, make some play on the queen's side. He's definitely trying for a back rank as a last second. Oh, here, here it comes. Let's just mate him before that happens. Queen can now enter. Okay. Okay, we are struggling. Stjernkamp having a good run finally. Is he in first place? Wow, okay. Just to show you guys how difficult first place is. Abdu has been playing. And with a 2300 performance. I don't know, is the performance in your window? Yeah. Oh, the tournament clock has moved. It used to be over here. In any case, uh, 2300 performance on pause mode. Doing those 25 points. Running around the house, obviously. You need to do that if you want to play with a fresh mind. To berserk or not to berserk? I mean, I'm in 60th place. The 1600 is in 46th place. <laughs> no way am I berserking you. You're some... Just some scaly strong player that uh, plays a transposed Italian. Ooh, not taking the pawn. I've seen a5 be a nuisance, forcing players to play knight takes. Yeah, yeah. And somehow this a pawn, it uh, does wonders. Oh, and uh, another, another pawn sack. Ooh, we want all the pawns. Okay. I want to crush you quickly. Cause I mean that's that's a tad too greedy. Got queen here. But the most queen moves seem to be okay. Bishop takes queen check. No, not sure if there's a hell of an attack after that. So let's start with start with queen here. Threatening uh, the very basic queen takes uh, e7 mate. And yeah, I was expecting one of those queen moves to happen. Okay, now I do have bishop here, but a lot of the times, something like queen e6, queen back, it becomes pretty tricky. So I'm considering e5, but then queen here, queen back, knight takes obviously doesn't work. Let's play e5. Queen here, queen back. I'm still hitting the queen. Queen there. And then the finality of my idea, unless he's playing queen to g6, I'm expecting queen to e7, if this is a 1600. Um, if queen to g6, then, uh, well, we know we couldn't have really trusted. Oh my, okay. This is a 1600. That was uh, why my queen went back. Okay. Well, played a nice line there. Queen g6 would have been tricky. My point was queen e7, bishop a3. And then I'd re regroup and start this whole attack again. In fact, I'll play bishop a3 in any case. It's a rook. Take the pawn. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a win. And where does that put me? Where am I? 49th. A tricky tournament. Okay, Stian come on 18. The leader, has he played and has he been playing again? Not in pause mode anymore. It's far better to not play than actually to lose. So, a chess master. Hopalo. From UCT. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna play um this stuff. It's boring. And you'll probably just beat me in it very quickly. Queen takes and since I'm such a noob, I need to play bishop to f8 and trade queens because I've not gone through this line ever uh, during any point of my life. I've been getting this position a few times. And, well, my theory is that I've got the bishop pair. <laughs> I always lose that pawn in this line, though. What am I doing? Let's give him double pawns. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. I think you got a pawn. Uh, what now? I mean, rook c8 does nothing. So, playing a chess master, he's up a pawn. How to take down a chess master when he's up a, up a pawn? <laughs> Part 1 of S.A. Ostrich's series. Wait, actually, do I have king here? Tricky checks, nothing. Do I have my king over on the queen side? I don't know. Ooh, that looks interesting. I'll give up another pawn. Okay, so part one uh, introduces the theme of giving away a second pawn after losing the first pawn. Um, because the theory is that one pawn um, is too easy, obviously. So you need to show your confidence and it's still too easy to take down a chess master after giving him one pawn. So you need to give him the second pawn to really make him feel like he's in control. And meanwhile, because they're chess masters, they've uh, signed a waiver to a uh, pawn. Oh, well, he willingly took that pawn. So I was considering just leaving it. But that's a nice square for that knight. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so we'll... Unless there's a different square I want. Not at the moment. Okay, let's take the square. Okay. Really surpri surprised he went for all of that. Okay. So, give him a second pawn. And then find nice squares for your pieces. He'll be so glad that he's up two pawns. Or, well, at the moment it's one. So, I'm not doing my job correctly. No. knight going there so let's get the king there though well that knight's not doing anything just yet I check play king here knight takes no I'll, I'll need to do something about that okay so my plan what was my plan king here it's not losing any material right and then rook takes after knight Come on, I've, I need to be winning some material here somewhere. <laughs> this is so weird. Knight takes, rook takes, will win a piece. But he won't play rook takes, he'll play pawn takes. And I've got a tricky, tricky position. Let's play knight here. He doesn't have anything weird. Okay, so the position is suddenly not too bad for me anymore. I think he was focusing on the past C pawn. He might play this. Knight takes rook. My king is actually doing quite a nice job here. It's like close to all of these pieces, and none of them are doing anything against him. It would be scary in, in other situations, but in this one, it seems to be doing the job. Your point being rook here. Well, well then king can take. To point rook here, but oh, shucks. I missed rook to e5. King here. Some disastrous knight check. Knight check. King can actually run. Okay. So he got scared of that check. So he's, he's probably planning it from a bit further away. So let's play my check now. And 
then we reinforce the knight and darn well hope that I'm not getting mated here with this uh, sketchy story. The point of the matter is he needs to play rook takes. Oopsie. Oh shucks, I'm still in check. So the point of the matter is I don't understand chess. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, okay, so he blunders both rooks. I can sack a rook for that pawn. I might not have to. Okay, let's go. And that should be all she wrote. Come on. Okay, so my, my, my plan worked. Give the chess master a few pawns. And he'll give you a few rooks. And hopefully resign. Okay. Where am I now? 29th. Yash B. KZN player, no? UCT player. That has taken me down a few times. Are we going to play a little scotch? Uh, not a big fan of this bishop c5 stuff I've been playing. But we'll go for it in any case. So I think the line is bishop takes. And then this queen check. Then you're supposed to take this pawn and play king d8. And he might have gone through this. <laughs> this is really interesting. Again, he plays queen here. And the point is... Oh, he doesn't play queen there. Ooh. I've actually just only played this once in my life. I can't remember for the hell of me how this, how this works. Because I'm thinking he needed to play queen here to get that knight out. So I might be trapping the knight one day. I might be overreaching with this move. Rook here? What does he do? He can get two pieces for the exchange. It's not the worst position ever. This knight will survive. Actually, he might be okay just by taking that knight and then my rook. Oh, Stenkom just quickly checked in on my game to see why I'm not uh, performing. <laughs> Okay, so he decides to go for the two pieces. He's not playing knight there. Honestly, I can't see that happening. Because I need to play something like b6. I'm going to keep my king around so that b6 uh, looks more flattering. And b6 now traps this knight. And there's no good discovery with your bishop. Oh, there's that move. Oh, okay. Oh, now I need to be quite careful. Let's just get my queen out of line of the discoveries. Then he's got knight before. Oh, gosh. I'm murdering myself. That's what's happening over here. The knight's also covering the square, so... For now, let's just recapture. He's going to have to set up an entire escape program. <laughs> this is like people trying to rescue uh, other people from, like, a mine or something. Oh, is it seven? It works now. Knight here. Knight takes. Knight takes, king takes. I'll just go for another pawn, thank you. Oh my gosh, okay, king takes at least. The king is close to my bishop. But that uh, drops the knight, right? So... Okay. I still want to play, but okay. Let's go for it. Come on, do we, do we play till mate? Okay. 
that should be made. Oh, not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks for playing, Tomate. That was pretty cool. Okay, Steam Camp, why is, is he stop? Has he stopped playing? Is he just having a really good run? Is he taking a breather? He just drew a game. And Sasha. Okay, he's in a big game now. Let's see what's happening while we wait for my game. He's up a piece, right? So. Neza, let's go. Well, this could be a big night if, uh, if I start using my streak correctly. Half an hour to go. Have not been making any points so far tonight. Okay, some classic Sicilian stuff. Wonder if I want bishop c4 on this line. Let's go for it. He might uh, be greedy. He might still just be greedy. I really like a bishop on c4. Ah, on b3 in the Sicilian. Ah, and there we have the long awaited bishop to b7, which makes the square such a beaut. Not yet, right? Let's say bishop here. Wait for something like this to happen. He plays g6, I'm not too sure. Well, let's wait for this. Okay, so we'll, we'll give it time. We'll, we'll wait for e6. I doubt g6 is happening now. So we're going to see e6, and I'll play rook e1. He's not going for the extra pawn so far, so he won't do it now. But after e6, rook e1, bishop e7, I think that's my, my time to shine with bishop takes on e6. We'll wait for that bishop to end. Okay, so let's see if everything happens according to plan. Come on, internet. Come on. So bishop here, and... Well, okay. Don't know if that makes big difference to my plan. I think I'll play it in any case. Although, there might be something else as well. Okay. Okay, so he probably anticipated all of this stuff. Come on, there has to be something really cool over here. We do have this night night stuff. Do have knight do have bishop and then knight. I'm not too sure what to do. Well, since nothing's happening just yet, since he's not uh, committed this bishop, because I think... Come on. I'm having some lag. Oh, uh, well, uh, that makes a lot of sense. That move would allow him to castle, so... Let's just get rid of it. Gosh, I'm an idiot. Oh, come on. I, feel, I can feel the lag now. Gosh, you're right I'm just such an idiot. He does have queen. No, he doesn't have queen there. can trade on queens. You'll have a fine game off the queen here. I don't know why you're going to play that. Wow, he could castle over there. I, I had no idea. Okay. It's still going to be tricky. What? The hell is happening? So he can he he has to take. He'll probably take with queen. Oh my gosh! Am I really just blundering this game away? Hmm. 
No, this is game over. Queen takes and he should be winning. There's no even tricky checks. Queen can fall back. And if I want to go for that rook, he's always got the rook on a1. He just needs to see that and he should play it. I mean, I might play queen back though to keep the game going. He'll be up two pawns. Okay, this is interesting. Not what I was expecting. Rook takes. If I move my king. Oh, this guy's just crushing me suddenly. I really went wrong. Okay, let's keep the attack going. Let's just head on forwards with the attack. If I don't win this, then don't really think there's a lot of chance for me in this tournament. Yo, this is just such a mild attack. I don't think there's after f6. There's just there's not much happening. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just opened up another line for him to attack on. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay. Now he should be able to convert this. See how many checks I can get in. That was just a weird move, right? <laughs> Getting myself made to the damn, damn. Had some checks, and then what was that Queen A A four stuff? No clue. Okay, let's uh, keep on going. Let's keep on going. <clears throat> that was just such. Yeah, okay, some two knights. Uh, go knight. Make the position of two knights. Come on, pieces. Bishop d3. I was thinking the knight might have to go to h1, but uh, not yet, not yet. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, I forgot how tiring these tournaments are. I'm feeling pretty drained, but I know it's usually these last minutes that end up getting you a podium place. I think I'm way too far off for first place. I'm playing here from position 28 now. I'm prepared to go for this line. I've got a good queen side. If you want to trade and go for the endgame, be my guest. Oh my gosh, okay. Thanks, man. This guy's really my guest. I can assure you he's not going to be happy with his choice. I'm still up a pawn and I've got a bishop versus a knight. Why? Okay, he really he just wants to go for this as a pure endgame. Let's quickly want double that pawn. And this king is quite far away. I might even be fast enough just uh, with pawns alone to start uh, start some something beautiful.
like kings in time right now. I can't really go pawn pushing. Okay, he resigns though. Okay. So two points. Okay. 22, 34. Maybe not not the furthest anyone has been. Chicks are chess buddy. Steenkamp. Playing against Abdu. I think my first opponent of the night. How's the team doing? 151. Well, UJ, they're not running away with it. We're also quite there. Odonis. I'm not even the top contributor at the moment. What? That's pretty strange. Wait. Didn't... Where am I? Did I drop... Wow. Teammates of mine are doing good. Very thankful. I'm having an off night. Let's do this. Another two knights. No, no two knights. Not two knights, two knights. The extra pawn or not, I've, in my life, I've learned that the extra pawn. <laughs> it's not a good pawn to go take. Maybe, maybe this one in a second or two. But the other one was not ready or ripe for the takening. He's defended everything that seems important. Still got that pin. Ooh. Little sack. He might be counting on the sack to win some material. So no, let's go for that pawn you offered me earlier on. And then I'll launch this attack differently. I think, ooh, okay. That's the deal. Pawn will be slightly weak. I'll have a natural attack over it. After that knight moves. Okay, he doesn't... It's like his second pawn gambit. What if I do this, you do this, I do this, you do that. No, not cool. If I do this, I'm just attacking a piece for now. And then I do this. Attacking another piece. And then I need to find a square for this guy. That's such a nice square. I missed that. Whoa. Okay. Let's get the bishop ready to attack. Bishop for now defends the knight. And if a3, well, to take with the f or the h-pawn. Well, the e-pawn's here, so I'm guessing the rook. The, the d-pawn uh, prevents most attacks for the time being. Is he doing anything yet? He's attacking my pawn. Okay. Gosh. But I'm up a pawn. And if the knight moves, my queen gets access to this square. Also pretty nice for me. Is that this rook can enter the game. And in some cases, the knight might end up on c5. In the better cases. Where, I don't know. I can go here now. Need to consider it. Rook sacks. Also need to look at that. Let's just play the knight here. This rook on the, se the second is very, very fresh, indeed. Um, okay, what to do, what to do? Whoa, is my attack so weak that I've got nothing to do anymore? I was thinking I can get a rook there. This is strange, but it works. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Ooh, I nearly played bishop here thinking he can't go pawn takes, but he can go queen takes. 
And the time it took me to make that joke really cost me some time in the game. <laughs> so it really didn't work. No idea what I'm doing. Just waiting for him to commit to something now. Not seeing how he makes progress. Okay, well that's maybe not... Well, he's keeping the clock going, which is great for him. Because I'm down on the clock. So he needs to use that in defense now. I don't have any other options now, do I? He's got that check. Can you Pontex, Pontex. Going after a funny looking pawn at the moment. Not completely my style. Okay, gosh. He's got any everything... He's having a think. This is strange, this is very strange, but it works. <laughs> Gosh, am I just blundering this game away? Come on, internet. Not now, please. <laughs> Woo, thank you, keyboard. Okay, so the internet wasn't great, but the keyboard was beautiful. Um, I think I was winning that until I decided to exchange the bishops. In which case, uh, the fact that I was up a pawn didn't really mean much. Uh, White's king was active enough to hold the draw. Still not even in the top 20. Yeah, the guys are going tonight. Running away with the tournament. 37, Abdu. He must have taken down Stienkamp, so well deserved. That doesn't uh, happen easily for a lot of people. So what to do? Okay, okay, moving quickly. No problems, Berserking me. Well done. <laughs> um, let's be weird. Okay, okay. A bit of a sack exchange. He's got that pawn too in his pockets. I don't know if he knows it. If he doesn't know it, if he goes for it now, it'll be pretty cool. Takes knight, takes yeah. Cool of him. Definitely cool. I'm not happy with it though. Let's attack the. Wait, is it cool of him or not? Let's attack the knight because now he needs to defend it. Ooh. Tricky territory. Tricky territory. Well, not that tricky.
I'm having a hard time coordinating my thoughts in this position. It's weird. Such a strange, strange game so far. Time for a queen trade. Okay, this is interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Give. I'm not in time for the pawn, for the queen. Don't see it, man, don't see it. Please don't. Okay, he saw it. Gosh! Don't crush me now because you're getting a queen, please. I'm asking you very nicely. I know the queen is... I ended up plaguing him. Um, if he had not berserked me, I think that would have been his, definitely. Stupid pawn there in the end. 39! Gosh! Gosh, gosh, gosh. 15 points. 9 minutes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Team is... Just doing well enough to stay in this league again. My question is if Queen E5 is enough to win the game. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> queen takes and Queen E5? What are you doing to defend that mate? Well, okay, you can move your rook. Okay. Key one. <laughs> but damn. Really uh, made life difficult for yourself. Far more dif difficult than it should be. Bishop check, knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Do I have this checkeroni? Um. Whoa, I've, I'm seeing something nice. I hope he falls for it. Okay, so give me the knight takes. Oh. <laughs> That's not how chess works, unfortunately. Okay, so what I saw, while I still have some time, is that when the king was here, knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes, knight, e4 check, and the bishop won't be able to take the knight because of the pen. So I'll be picking up the queen. So yeah, that's it. Nothing special. Okay, that's castle. 
I mean, that square has got to be there for my knight, right? So... No, this definitely cannot be what my opponent was hoping for. Feels like I should be winning this, like, with a mate or something, but I don't think it's exa there exactly. There's just quite a few options for that king to go to, so... Start off with... Uh, let's just do that big trade. And play f5. Now I'm only up in exchange. Six minutes to go. Hopefully getting one more game after this. I don't know. This might be the final game. No? Three knights? No. Won't be the final game. If I end up losing this, I'm going to hate myself so much. This is... This rook has been doing a lot of damage in this game. Actually, I'm threatening rook takes knight check. Just threatening a pawn. Come on, man. Okay, here we go. So one more game, hopefully, to shoot me into that top 10. 28 with fire. 32 won't uh, even be enough to catch the Uncomp. Okay. The guy in first place on pause mode already. Let's do berserk for this game, man. Thank you so much for feeling my drift. Is that worth it, really? Okay. Shit. Blundering. Terrible blunder. Could resign and try another game, or I should. I think I should try and swindle this now.
might just be ruining my chances here altogether by not just resigning and trying to get another pairing. Trying to flag me, I might be lucky. No, there's nothing here. Uh, okay. There's definitely not another pairing. I can already. 15th place. I think this is one of my lowest, if not my lowest. Definitely the break from chess has not been serving me good. And hopefully next week I can redeem myself a bit. 183. Points 291, UCT. Uh, does that mean UJ did not win? Yeah, definitely. And TUT even doing better than they than they have. So that is what uh, you get for making these descriptions, I think. In first place, we're going to have Lediknov. 7-7, seven, seven, TUT players. Wow, what a tournament. Never had a really good run. But it was fun altogether. Uh, well done to everyone that played, and I will see you guys next week Sunday, or maybe even this Wednesday for a w for a video. Uh, that is what is on my schedule. In any case, uh, thanks for watching, and well, let's just give this uh, five more seconds to see what the exact standings are. I don't think Chiksa is playing, so that should this should be our first place. Chess buddy, wait! Overtook in that last second. And UCT over... Wait, no, they, they were winning. That gave them enough points. So well done to Chess Buddy. It also took me down tonight. Uh, thanks for watching and see you guys soon. Uh, good night.